All right. So basically, we're consoled into these devices. So what you're seeing is console output. So you'll see everything uh, from the boot up process that you would if you were actually consoled in to a real Juniper device. Now, obviously, some of this is going to look a little bit different because this is a virtualized SRX, but it's pretty much going to be the same. So we'll let this boot up and I'll fast forward. Okay, so now we're at the login prompt. Uh, our first SRX booted up nicely. Um, basically, there's no password on these to begin with, and as we go through the labs, we'll be putting passwords on, on these routers. But for now, the default is, uh, username is root, and there's no password. So that takes us right into the shell, and from the shell, we're just going to type CLI, and that's going to get us uh, into global mode here. Now, it may take a minute for the interfaces to fully come up, but you can check them uh, with the command show interfaces terse. Okay, so we'll give it another minute here. Um, the interfaces haven't quite showed up yet. They haven't quite initialized. The, the SRX is still kind of loading everything. Like I said, it can take a minute. And you just hit the up arrow to bring that command back and look at it again. And we do have one interface uh, showing up here, the GE0 interface. So while that SRX is uh, finishing up, let's go ahead and power on the other one. All right, so that's going to initiate the console on the second SRX and pop up a new window. And we'll go ahead and let that one boot up. Right. Okay, there we go. We looks like the configuration on our first one is starting to show up here. We have the default IP address of 192.168.1.1 on our GE0 interface. And on these SRXs, the way they're set up by default is the GE000 interface is set up as the untrust or the outside interface. So usually that's the only one that's going to have a uh, default um, IP address on it. All right, so we can go ahead and log into our second one here. And we're at the shell, so we'll go ahead and go to the command line. And we can issue the same command here, show interfaces first. All right, so this one's still loading up, and we'll give it another minute. The way that VirtualBox is set up initially, at least on my machine, uh, the default is that when you click on this command line window, it captures your mouse. And uh, all you have to do is click the, the rightmost control button on your keyboard to release your mouse, like that. And you'll see that option right down here. So just know that um, uh, I got a little confused at first when uh, I couldn't use my mouse and realized that the uh, mouse release was set to a particular control button, not just a control button. So just remember that. Let's go ahead and check our interfaces again. Okay, now this one actually booted up with a um, slightly different IP address of dot two, which is good. That way we can establish initial connectivity between these two virtual machines. So let's check the first one again. All right. Now the reason why you don't see the other GE interfaces show up here is they're not actually going to show up on the interface list until you configure them. Right now they're just not configured. So don't, uh, don't freak out if you don't see them, think there's something wrong. They're just not configured yet. As soon as you put an IP address on them or configure any kind of option for any of the other interfaces, they will show up here. All right, so if we go back to GNS3, you can see that we have a green light on both of our links. So let's go ahead and try to ping between the two interfaces. 
So I'm going to ping from SRX1 to SRX2. All right, so as you can see, it failed. Well, there's a reason, because there is a particular command that we need to enter to allow the pings on the interfaces. All right, so if we just look at the default config on one of these, uh, we're just gonna display the set commands. And scroll down to the bottom. All right, down here at the bottom, you can see that we have a security options set for host inbound traffic on GE000, which is the interfaces that we have connected between the two SRXs. Since the GE0 interface is in the untrust zone by default, pretty much everything is disallowed. And we have some specific things that are specifically allowed on that interface. We have HTTP, HTTPS, SSH, Telnet, and DHCP. Well, the one thing that's missing there is ping. So we need to go into edit mode and set security zones, security zone, untrust, interfaces, GE000, unit zero, host inbound traffic, system, services, ping. Okay, now to save that configuration, we also have to save a password. So we can do that now with the set system root authentication plain text password and hit enter. Then go ahead and enter a password. All right, now we can commit. And remember that everything that you save, every configuration change that you save on these virtual machines is persistent. That means that when you power them off and you exit out of your GNS3 lab and then you go back into it later, that configuration is going to come back when you power on these virtual machines. So you don't get a clean slate every time you power them on. We're actually saving the configuration. So now we're going to do the same thing for SRX2. So we're going to set, whoops, we actually need to be in edit mode. Set secure, whoops, security zones, security zone, untrust, interfaces, GE, 000, unit zero, host inbound traffic, system services, ping. All right, and we need to set the password on this one as well. So we'll use the set system, root authentication, plain text, plain text password. And we'll set our password here. There are password restrictions on this. So if you type in a password that doesn't meet those restrictions, it will tell you what the restrictions are. And now we can commit. All right, so now our passwords and configurations are saved. Now let's try to ping again. And remember that if you wanna run an operational mode command uh, from configuration mode, you just use run show or I'm sorry, run ping 192.168.1.2 rapid. Okay, so basically what just happened there, um, I had a little bit of a hiccup. Basically, my interfaces lost their IP address. I'm not sure why, um, but if it happens to you, uh, let's look at the configuration here. It. Okay, so basically right uh, right there under interfaces GE0 unit 0 it just lost uh, both of them just lost their IP address So if that happens to you just enter the command set interfaces GE000.0 family inet address and then make router 1 192.168.1.1 
and make router2.2. Make sure you add the slash 24 and then commit those configurations and then everything should be okay. Everything should work at that point. Um, <clears throat> if we go here and ping, you can see that uh, we can ping from router1 to router2 and vice versa. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you do run into some other hiccups for, for whatever reason, if something should be working and it's just not, just try uh, to, to close out your uh, and shut down your virtual machines, close GNS3, reopen it, and you might even try rebooting your computer as well. There's, there's various driver issues that, that might pop up with different machines. Um, that could cause, uh, you know, strange, quirky things to happen. But um, GNS3 has a great community, and there is a section for Junos. So if you are running into some issues, getting some error messages, uh, jump over to the forum and just search the forum and see if you can find the answer there. Usually, um, every everything that I ran into when I was setting up these labs, I was able to find answers to in the forum and you can also post questions and ask questions there but at this point you pretty much have your lab set up um, you're able to ping between your your two srx routers and you're pretty much ready to go for uh, doing the other labs